Hey there everybody, Aaron here. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today, I'm excited to show you a new product or newer product um, that I think is gonna really help you out starting your fires. This is the Live Fire Survival Kit that we have here today. Live Fire produces basically all fire supplies, different things to help you start a fire, particularly in survival situations. They make fire cords, so it's paracord basically with an extra line in it for uh, tinder that you can you know, start that. We'll be looking at that, we'll be doing a review on that real soon. Uh, but this is their little survival kit, gives you a fire steel, and gives you this little box here that you can use to really help you start a fire and can give you a lot of fuel basically that will start in almost any condition um, and in any form. So today we're just going to take a real quick look at it, show you what it can do and uh, hopefully by the end of the video you'll be able to decide whether or not this live fire might be a great item to add to your survival kits, bug out bags and uh, other products that you might be able to use uh, when starting a fire, fire either in a you know survival situation or just for your camping and everyday excursions. So with that being said let's go ahead and start looking at the ins and outs of the Live Fire Survival Kit. All right, here are a couple of basic specs for you. First off, for the Survival Kit, it costs on their website $13.50. So pretty reasonable there for the fuel as well as the fire steel. And what we're looking at here, uh, the dimensions of the actual fuel right here, it has this little, whoops, little adjustable lid. And I think it's aluminum, aluminum little casing. And then the yellow is the fuel that we're gonna be looking at here today. But uh, the specs we're looking at here is that this little guy, weighs 0 0.9 ounces so under an ounce very cool then you're looking at 3.11 inches long 1.38 inches wide and 0 0.38 inches uh, in thickness there so very small compact lightweight system burns from 20 to 30 minutes full flame full auto <laughs> if you will with the lid totally removed it'll burn for uh, 20 to 30 minutes with a very large flame and then depending on how you adjust it how much you're using it'll actually burn longer uh, depending on how you want to use this live fire setup so now with that being said let's go ahead and uh, actually test it show you how it works and uh, we'll keep on moving with this review all right, guys, so I'll show you kind of how this thing is supposed to operate. The first thing you're supposed to do once you open it is use your striker and scrape and kind of get this little ball of fuzz because that's what's going to catch. If you just try, start trying to strike the pad itself without doing this, it's not going to light. So you want a good little kind of fluffy pod here. You can see that real nice. That's going to catch really easy here. So this should be a real fast little test. Shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. There we go. Not too difficult. You just got to make sure as long as it's nice and fibrous, that thing is going to burn real nice there. So uh, then you just kind of decide how much, you know, if I wanted to have this a bigger flame, I would have just dragged this door open further, scraped more of it with light, but it'll burn real nice. And then when I'm done and ready to kind of close it up here, you just close it off and it goes right out. So very nice little setup, very easy to start this live fire. Okay, so I did want to just show you how well the, the striker can throw sparks. It's pretty thin, so you know, probably, you're probably gonna get maybe 2,000 strikes with this. They don't really give you a number, um, but uh, just kind of show you here. It does okay. It's not a mind-blowing striker. Now, you don't need a lot of sparks for this kit to light, so that's good. But I mean, you know, like your your full blown brands, you know, like your um, Swedish uh, Light My Fire, those type of things are going to throw bigger sparks. It'll do okay. You can see there, not bad. Um, and but it would be a little more difficult to start just dry tinder. This makes it super easy for this to light. So just something to note there as well. Show you just kind of how this is all set up to. It kind of is. The, this little thin tape, basically, if you will, of the compound or the product that's going to light for you. And it's kind of just triple stacked inside the little tin there, just so you can kind of get an idea of what you're lighting and how this thing is all set up. So guys, we've shown you this uh, little setup here in action. And, uh, you know, I'm always on the lookout for new ways to help me start a fire, particularly in a bad weather situation. You know, I live in the Rockies. It can rain on me almost at any time. We get thunderstorms almost every day. Uh, so in the summertime when I'm out hiking and backpacking and camping, um, you know, the, the material around me might start to get soaked and wet real quick, the natural material. Uh, so I'm always on the lookout for products that are going to help me if I had to uh, with very simple tools, just using basically sparks to help me start a fire. And obviously a lighter or matches can easily start as well. So uh, I've been very pleased with this live fire setup. Uh, I really like it a lot. You can also purchase these in different setups, you know, without the fire steel, just get the boxes um, that hold the uh, material that can start. And, you know, you can use your own fire steel if you want. Um, so lots of different options there, guys. I think it's a great little setup, very small, compact, and very inexpensive, and uh, a great way to help you start a fire. Because if you got a fire, you can survive, basically.
basically. So uh, where it's going to give you a, a lot better fighting chance than if you didn't. So this is, I think, a great setup and a great addition to my kit. And hopefully it would be a great addition to your kit if you like what you see. So as always, check us out on all the relevant social media. Please subscribe, comment, like, share this video. And as always, remember to stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.